And, and deciding not to do something is very clear because there is no next step. Sometimes, if it, the decision is to not pursue something, there's zero next steps. And so now I have no anxiety because I decided not to do it. The, the problem where people get hurt is to not decide. And we've made no decision. The, the struggle that I've found for, for people in that space is that they haven't properly aligned the particular decision they are faced with, with the initial first question, which is a question you even posed. Who am I? I've got to decide who I am and what matters to me. Where, what do I ideally want to pursue? Not, not in a tangible, earthly manner. Not, you know, am I someone who lives in Long Island? No, that's not, a, that's not a, an image that I can make of myself unless it's within the confines of something larger. So who do I really want to be? And, and that's broad. That's, that's emotional and that's values-based. Maybe I want to be someone who is, I, I want to be and live a life that puts my family first. Okay, mm. where does my family live? My family lives in Long Island. Okay, well, now I've got one point for Long Island, right? Yeah. And, and I'm making some assumptions about your particular scenario. I'm not trying to give you necessarily direct advice on, on this issue. Um, but I think it always starts with who I am. Who am I? And that can inform those decisions. But there's a, we've learned a lot of tips um, from people who, who we've brought on it as guests to the show. And there's one thing I've learned is that there's so many pearls of wisdom, but not one definite process for how to make choices because choices can be so different and decisions can be so different. Um, making a decision about what to wear this morning is obviously going to need a different process uh, than compared to how to invest my money or or whether, whether to purchase a home in this city or not or whether to move here or there. The, the one thing that's common is that question.